monster bricks and pieces order. This is like $300 worth of Lego, and it's the first one in a very long time. It looks like they actually package things separately, which is kind of convenient. I've never seen Lego do this. I guess when they do have a huge, huge order, they can afford to not shove every piece in the exact same bag. Um, okay. You can see they're mainly sand green and gold. Um, as a Lord of the Rings builder, it should be pretty obvious why I got a bunch of sand green and a bunch of gold. I'm going to go ahead and sort through this and lay everything out for you guys to take a look at. Okay, so I've now sorted everything out uh, for the most part. You can see a lot of sangrian, a lot of gold. Yes, I'm building Erebor. And this was $300. And I ordered it like January 26th and it just came on the last day of February. So it takes over a month if you're ordering from lego.com the standard order because it comes from Denmark and they're just really clogged with orders. Uh, and not to mention, I wanted to order this like in November, but then they shut down their pad because of the holiday or Christmas rush. So I had to wait all the way to January. So anyway, this took a long time, long time coming and it's finally here. So what did I get other than just gold and green? Well, I got some minifigure parts. I got this CMF Viking helmet. This is the same one I use for my Rohirrim, for Eowyn, for example, I use it on her. This part is exclusive to the Sanctum Santorum, which is like $250, it only comes with one of them. So you buy five of them online, much better option. A couple of these newer visors, uh, I checked those two vi gold visors are different from the Gold Knight from the Fantasy era. I do have that figure, but to verify it is different. And then I got a couple beards for some dwarves. Um, and some just flesh heads in case I may need, need them for one figure or another. Uh, this one I bought to use as Bilbo, possibly. Um, I just wanted to see what it looks like. I figured if it didn't work out, I could figure that out. But now, of course, we are getting Bilbo, so no need for that. These ones were supposed to be Hobbit or Dwarven legs, and we now saw in Rivendell that... The Hobbits come with this dual mold, but instead I believe it's like dark brown or regular brown. So I now have a tan one, which is nice. And then I bought some lanterns. I bought these feathers. I like the black ones. Um, I bought a bunch of these candlesticks. These were kind of expensive, but I knew, it, knew I would actually use these because I'll use them in Erebor and I'll also use them in like Mirkwood, for example, or something else, Elven. Lots of swords. Urukai Army swords are available on Lego Shop if you want them, if they're in stock. So I bought 50 of those. I bought this style of sword to use for elves. So like Thranduil, for example, is what I would use for that. I bought one of this coin. I bought a bunch of this armor piece. This comes from like the Mandalorian set uh, with the Clatoonian Warriors. Those are really good for orcs. Um, they look nice. And I bought these wings. I didn't know how big these were. I figured I'd buy them and see, find out. And they're definitely not big enough for a ring wraith. So I guess they'll just be part of my collection. A bunch of gold jewels for Erebor. All right, not jewels, but you get it. You get what I'm talking about, the crystal piece. And rabbits, um, Rustifer rabbits for Radagast Slay. Bought like 10 of them, bunch of bricks. And then a ton, a ton of sand green, tons of different pieces for the mock that I, a lot of them, I do need them. I know I need them. A lot of them are just in case I want to prototype something and see if it works, I'll have them on hand to do that. These slides from, I think, I'm mean, the slide might be from friends, but I don't know what sets these came in, maybe like Ninjago. And those are for, of course, the dwarves who mine gold. They have the gold in these slides. I bought a bunch of them for that reason. I have these fence pieces, these curved ones. I bought four of these. And the reason I didn't buy any of the straight ones is because I got a bunch of them off pick a brick wall in person. So I have tons of these for Erebor, Mirkwood, whatever. Lovely. 
And that about sums up the haul. Tons and tons of pieces. As I said, this costs like $300. So that's my investment into building an Erebor so far. We'll see how far this can get me. I do think I will probably have to pay, place an order of bulk pieces. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, highly recommend ordering from lego.com if you're okay with waiting um, so long and you need to order a ton of different pieces of a similar color. Because if you're trying to order off Bricklink, you will not be able to order so many different types of one color from the same seller. It's going to be like 20 different sellers. So if you can plan out what you want and place one big order, you'll probably be better off. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And yes, I will be building Erebor, so watch for updates on that.